Toyota Glanza. Now, before we talk about the new one, uh, it's a perfect opportunity to take some time out and discuss how it came to be. Because we all know that the Toyota Glanza is nothing more than a rebatch Maruti Suzuki Berlino. But why did the Toyota India had a need to do a rebatch engineering? Well, it all started a few years back when two big Japanese car maker, Toyota and Suzuki, realized that there was a lot of benefit that can be had if they combined resources. You see, Toyota had expertise in uh, electrification and hybrid technology. Meanwhile, Suzuki, they had expertise in small cars. Each one had something the other one didn't. So uh, it all started in 2016. A deal was stuck in 2019 and a first product it rolled out in 2020. Now, products of this collaboration were then seen across various automotive markets. For instance, uh, the Suzuki A-Cross is basically Toyota Rev4. Suzuki Swayze was another example, with, which is basically a Toyota Corolla. And here in India, the Glanza then shared the same assembly line as the Maruti Suzuki Berlino. So when a new Berlino rolled out, we had predicted there will be a new Glanza within a month. And here it is. When Toyota introduced the Glanza almost two years back, we all complained that there was no efforts taken on Toyota's part to at least separate the Glanza from the Berlino. The grills and the logos were changed and Toyota called it a day. Thankfully, that's not the case with the new one. If you are familiar with the international models from Toyota Stable, you'll be aware of their modern design language. And thankfully, the newer design of the Berlino's grille and the headlamps have helped Toyota to impress upon the same in the Glanza. The sleek chrome line running across the grille is similar to the one seen on the Camry. And the headlamp design, it looks much sharper than the Bellino's. This might be because of one simple design change. Where the Bellino gets a three-barrel design for LED inside the headlamps, here there's a single LED strip. It makes the Glanza look more European and stylish. Lower down, there are blacked-out inserts surrounding the mesh grille, which is an interesting element in terms of design and looks nice, at least in the pictures. Flanking those tusk-like inserts are circular fog lamps with chrome surrounds. There is a newer alloy wheel design that goes well with the overall stance of the Glanza. And at the back, the changes compared to the outgoing model includes a redesigned tail lamp and a reworked bumper. But there are little to no changes compared to what you see in the Nexus offering. How do you like the styling of the new Berlino? And whether or not it is better looking than its rival, do let us know your opinions in the comment section below. We saw a huge changes inside the cabin of the Berlino uh, with many new segment features and equipment added to the list. The same changes have been seen inside the Glanza as well, but with a few mentionable changes. On the inside, there is a floating touchscreen with a newer interface and a heads-up display which should be the talking point of the new Glanza. The biggest difference here is that instead of a black-blue combination of the Bellino, you get a rather conventional looking black-white finish with a gloss black insert elevating the cabin feel. Even the flat bottom steering wheel which we have seen in the Swift and the Bellino is a refurbished with a piano black finish. Instead of the two variants that were offered before, the new and updated Glanza is available across four variants. In addition to the G and B, uh, there are E and S variants added to the mix, which are positioned below the previous G and B. In terms of variant-wise comparison, the E trim is equivalent to Nexa's Sigma, S is to Delta, G is Zeta, and the V is the same as Alpha trim of the Bellino. Except for the E, you can get an automatic version for all the other three variants. Feature-wise, the E trim offers halogen projectors, steel wheels, remote keyless entry, auto AC, a spoiler at the back and a rear parking sensors. Move to the S version and the additional features you get includes body-colored ORVMs, smart playcast music system with four speakers, steering mounted controls and a parcel tray at the back. In the G trim, uh, features added to the list include 16-inch alloy wheels, LED projectors, auto headlamps, rear wipers, a color display for the instrument cluster, a 7-inch touchscreen with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay along with voice commands, 
There are six speakers, push button start stop function, rear parking camera, tilt and telescopic steering wheel, height adjustable driver seat, there are rear AC vents, 60 40 split seats, and a fast USB charger for the rear passengers. Toyota's connected car tech is also available from the G Trim. Lastly, the fully loaded B Trim gets you a segment first heads up display and 360 degree camera. There are LED fog lamps and DRLs, QV protected glass, a larger 9 inch touchscreen system, auto folding ORVMs and auto dimming IRVMs, cruise control, and a premium Archimedes sound system. There are no drastic changes under the skin. So the new Glanzer continues to be powered by a familiar 1.2-litre four-cylinder petrol engine from the K12 family. It produces around 89 bhp of power and 130 Nm of torque. This engine can be had with a 5-speed manual or an AMT automatic transmission instead of a CVT automatic. We drove this engine and gearbox combination in a Bellino a few weeks back and came back quite impressed. You can find the link to the video somewhere around here or in the description below. The ARAI fuel efficiency for the Glanza's manual version is a 22.35 kmpl and the AMT it's claimed at 22.94 kmpl. We will of course give out a real world fuel efficiency figures once we test the Glanza ourselves. If you want a detailed video around its fuel efficiency and performance, do let us know in the comments below and we'll be happy to oblige. If you're considering to buy the Glanza, the pricing starts at Rs 6.39 lakh for the E variant and it goes up to Rs 9.69 lakh for the top spec fully loaded V trim with the AMT transmission. At this pricing, the Glanza is around 10 to 20,000 rupees dearer than the equivalent Berlino version. But for that price, Toyota is offering a bigger warranty package of 3 years and 1 lakh kilometers which can also be extended to 5 years and 2.2 lakh kilometers. Similar to the Bellino, the Glanza belongs to the B Plus premium hatchback segment where it competes with the likes of the Hyundai i20, Tata Ultros, Volkswagen Polo and the Honda Jazz. Would you buy the new Glanza over its counterparts? We would surely like to know your opinion about it, so let us know in the comment section below. We'll also be driving it sometime soon, so stay tuned for our first drive video. And if you have any other questions regarding the Glanza, uh, its specification, on-road pricing in your own city, uh, variant-wise details, uh, finance option, you can always visit our website www.carwallet.com. Until next time.